Okay. So welcome everybody. Om okay, so welcome to our November talk with Dr. Jenani about mantra and uh, looking at mantra as medicine. So to introduce Dr. Jenani, um, she, Dr. Janani is a Siddha doctor at the Sri Narayani Siddha Holistic Center. We're actually in the yoga room here right now at the center. Before she joins the um, Holistic Center, she works as a personal Siddha physician for the President of India at the Ayush Wellness Clinic in Rashtrapati Bhavan, which is the equivalent of the White House in India. Uh, she works in, there in New Delhi from 2016 to 2019. And the ministry she worked with is called Ayush, A-Y-U-S-H, and it's the ministry in India which has been created to promote Ayurveda, yoga, naturopathy, Yunani, which is the um, Islamic uh, natural medicine, Siddha, and homeopathy. So putting all of these into mainstream medical care. Um, we are working on, so we're presenting the mantra talk today from a Siddha perspective because this weekend we're starting a series called Medicine as Mantra or Mantra as Medicine with Dr. Lakshmi who is based in California and um, we've got someone on the audio no, it's your phone. Um, and yeah, Dr. Lakshmi will be presenting um, a monthly talk on mantra, looking at, at mantra from very different perspectives. So this is like an introductory course, uh, introductory talk to mantra. Um, just to remember that this talk is by donation. So you can go to the Green Shakti website and um, uh, donate for our green workers. This is supporting green workers during COVID to keep them in jobs because um, we, in India we're still very, very affected by COVID. And it's important that we keep people in their jobs so that they can support the environment and, um, and their families. So, and one more thing is that Dr. Janini is available for online consultations. So I will, um, I will put the um, address in the, YouTube, in the chat box and also on YouTube, it will be in the, um, in the description at the bottom of this video. And um, you just have to email and the, should, you'll be able to have a one hour consultation with her, which is really an extraordinary experience. Because yeah. I've had it and this has done a lot of good for me, I can tell you that. Okay, so starting with mantra, can you tell us what is mantra? Okay, Om Namo Narayani, have a wonderful evening. Okay. Coming to uh, mantra, mantra, M -A -N, M-A-N, T-R-A, tra. Man means manas, that is mind. Tra means tool. So mantra means it is the tool for the mind. So how do you, uh, con it is a tool to control our mind to get happy. And can you tell us then um, what, so um, in terms of, um, Sorry, <laughs> where does the mantra originate from? Yeah, uh, many people would have been uh, know the sound. Om. That is Om, that is not O-E-M, that is A-U-M. That is called Om. It is that sound originates from the universe. So when you just uh, like, you know, switch off all the uh, noises around you and you just and observe, there will be some sound that will be vibrating in your ear. That is a universe sound of the universe. That is, um, so it is a sound of the universe. Ye, you, yam. Ye means the waking start state of the mind, waking state of the mind. That is your consciousness. You means the, uh, like the, the, the subconscious mind, the deep state of the mind. And uh, yam means the, the, the most deepest state of the mind, that is super consciousness. So ye, you, yam, it is a sound of the universe and also states our mind. So when you chant this mantra, you're actually chanting the sound of the universe. 
That's how you are connecting with the universe. And so what is the, what is the importance of actually chanting with the sounds of the universe? What does it actually do to one's being? Good question. So actually, when you chant the mantras, whatever mantras, Om, or Om, Namo, Narayani. So when I'm chanting the mantras, so it, it, there are some 84 meridian points under the tongue. So it activates all the meridian points under the tongue, which sends signals to the hypothalamus, to the brain. And from there is a release of the hormones that, that it triggers all the positive changes in your body, mind and the soul. So it reduces your tension. It reduces, it makes you ease. It makes you comfortable. And regarding, it has lots of benefits when it comes to mind, body and soul. So in general, it produces a positive vibes on your body. So you're saying you have 84 meridian points yes, under, under your tongue. the roof of the tongue. Yes. Okay. And so that, so as you chant, that actually, chant, gets that stimulated. actually stimulates and it sends signals to the hypothalamus and to the pituitary gland. So which releases some neurochemical changes to all, which produces some neurochemical changes in your body, like endorphins, happy hormones will get produced. So when you chant these mantras, um, you can feel immediately some kind of uh, happiness or bliss that not from external force when you're feeling from inside from your body. So you need some pleasure when you eat some good food, when you be with good person, then only you can feel pleasure. But it is not something when you chant mantras, the pleasure comes inside through some neurochemical changes. Okay, so this is the, also the importance of why you should do it regularly. Yes, too. yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So if I like you so much, if I love you from my heart, so there is some neurochemical changes when it produces, when I see you, hi, I'm just hugging you. So that is a, a thing, but when, when it comes from through you to me, but that does not happen every time. You know. But that can happen that bliss and chemical changes can be produced our within oneself when we chant this mantras, just creating bliss, happiness, and also increasing our positive vibration. So they, we can have a stabilized mind always. Okay. And can you tell me the, um, uh, so looking from a SIDA point of view of, of SIDA medicine, when I did the um, SIDA program earlier this year, I was very in, in, um, impressed um, that mantra is actually the top part of the treatment. Yes. So you have mantra, what does the say? Then Second have, is highest forms of money, money mandra, money, aushadam. Mantra means mantra, chanting mantras. It is, this is, it is for the healing of the body, mind and soul. Mantra stands the first. And then money, that is higher form of Siddha medicines. Guru, Puliga, Muppu, we called it many forms. And next comes the medicines, which includes internal medicines and external medicines. Internal medicines 32, external medicines 32. So these are all the different types of different types of medicines. Medicine, but mantra comes the first. Okay. It heals your body, mind, and soul. So just going looking at the different levels. So you have mantra, you have this very special Siddha medicines. Yes. Then you have the internal medicines. Yeah. And then you have Vama, which we spoke about last week. We have also um, all the different massages, yeah. then yoga, food, and lifestyle. Yes. yes. But so mantra is the very most important yes. medicine that is prescribed to yes. a patient who is yes. here. Because, you know, it, like, as I said, the Aum is the universal sound. So when we chant this mantra, Aum, we are aligned with the universe. So there is some quantum field which exists, which doesn't have space, time or nothing. So we are actually in, in the frequency of the universe. We are traveling with the frequency of the universe when we chant that mantra. Uh, that mantra aligns with the universe. So if, you, if we are aligned with one direction, if your thoughts, if our uh, emotions, if our vibration, everything travels in one direction, we can manifest anything we want. No need to lift your little finger. We can manifest happiness, joy at that sitting position in this point. So that is the value of the mantra. That is why it has given so much of importance because why it is in Tamil and Sanskrit? Because it is the language of the God. Every pronunciation, 
Om Sarva Mangala Mangalye. Each and every word has some pronunciation. It is the words, it is the sound of the universe. Universe do sound. So when you're talking about then aligning oneself with the universal energy, that is why if you're chanting Saraswati, you are then aligning yourself yes. with the wisdom. Yes, wisdom. Yeah. Vibration yes. of the universe. And if you're aligned with Lakshmi, you're aligning with it. With Om Namo Narayani, you're aligning with that frequency. With the abundance. Yes, abundance. abundance. And peace. So we are working very hard. We are living our life. Everything we are getting at most what we want, peace and happiness. That's why we're studying very hard. We are going for work, everything. We want some peace of mind. So mantra gives that peace of mind every day when you're chanting. Okay. And, so and it acts as a protective shield for you mm -hmm. to get rid of negative forces. And so it makes you to observe everything uh, with the third eye. Like just not a, like whatever comes in your life, you will just observe what is happening around you. And how does that happen? What do you mean that you can observe? So if, if I example, start chanting a lot, how, how does No, that no, no, not like that. If you chant, it started chanting good things. Many, many people talk about you or many things happening around you. You, you, you will not be involved in that. Your mind will be in utmost uh, good state of mind that you can take whatever you want. You will be just like an observer. Like a Vishnu. Vishnu has snakes down. It is a negative force and always have the eagle in the uh, universe. Eagle's eye. If you watch everything with the eagle's eye, we will be at bliss. So this kind of state we will get when we do meditation. Have you seen Vishnu? He was always on the Anantasayana, like lying and just in the happy mood in a meditative state. So mantras keep you uh, thriving in a meditative state so that we will be observe what's happening around us and we will take what we really want to take. So Vishnu is lying on a snake and the snake represents the negative, negative thoughts. Yes. So he's actually lying on top of it, yes. so he's suppressing it. And, and then the eagle. Eagle is a positive energy. Okay. So when we just observing it, eagle's eye. Okay, so detach you, from yourself and observe. Okay, so Mantra then, makes you to do like this. this. So observing the drama of life yes. rather than getting Running involved. the show. Okay, okay, okay. And um, so can you tell us then where the relationship with, we understand that mantra is very important within the Siddhar medicine system. So what's the relationship of the Siddhas, um, so the sages um, who lived very, very close to the center and um, up in the mountains and mantra, what is the relationship between these So uh, for example, Siddhas have, have valued these mantras and, and they practice the chanting of mantras and for each, each and every herbs, they have some specific mantras. For example, for plucking up of tulsi, they have some time to pluck the tulsi leaves to prepare for the medicine. So they pluck the leaves at, by chanting some mantras. So in front of the herb, they'll put their hands together, they chant some mantras, and then only they pluck the leaves. Mm -hmm. Because each and every leaf, is, like, you know, leaf flows like that. It also holds life in it. It also has some soul in it. So they respect the herbs and also they give, take permission from the herbs by chanting some mantras. And that's how they have given respect to each and every, even though that is a herb, but they have given so much of importance that herbs also deserve some mantras to get plucked from them and to get grinding medicines. They, they used to chant some mantras while giving to the patients. They used to chant some mantras. Each and every herb has specific mantras when, before it gets plucked for the medicines. But you also, before you give a medicine to your patients. Yeah, I you always know. chant. Mm -hmm. I always chant in my heart. Mm -hmm. So these are all healing purpose and also it creates a positive energy. That's how medicine works. Okay. And, um, and so you were saying that there's, there's like 500 mantras for different yes, plants. Yes, every, every herb has specific mantras. Right. Every herb has specific mantras to be plucked. If we done, if we, uh, every herb should be plucked after chanting that mantra and then so Siddhas used to have that kind of preparation of herbs. So is it like asking permission from the flower, from the herb? Or yes, is it... actually asking permission and also uh, taking the herb and converting into a divine medicine. And going back to the Siddhas and their relationship with mantra, um, so the idea is mantra actually comes from nature. So yes. how does how did mantra come from nature and come into our lives, or into know, the Siddhas' lives? Yeah, mantras uh, like uh, as I say, Om. When you observe, when you when you close your eyes and just uh, 
listen your five senses, your uh, ears, your eyes, and your nose, and open all your audit, all your five senses open. You can hear some sounds vibrating in your eyes that is exits in the space. So that's how the sounds sounds came because they are the rishis, they are the priests who you went beyond, like you know, beyond the everything because they are the spiritually enlightened persons. So they hear that sounds and that's how that mantra came. So that if you, if you sit and just close your eyes and observe the sounds, what have you, you can hear some out of pollution and out of noise and everything. You can hear some because that is the universal sound. And so then how did it come from the Siddhas to us? Siddhas wrote in a palm, palm manuscripts and people used to, when Siddhas used to preach holes full of their knowledge to at least two persons and then it comes to generation, 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 generation like that. Okay. And so it so reaches us. Yes. Okay. And um, so can you tell us a bit more about what mantra actually does to our body oh. and our soul? So mantras enhances the person's health and well-being mm -hmm. and as i said it increases the positive uh, mood of your body and also it, it, purif it purifies your mind so it aligns your body mind and soul and also strengthens your mind body and soul and in the uh, in in health uh, like you know health related problems it really increases your immune system it strengthens your immune system it reduces your inflammation of the body when it talks to tumors or whatever, if you're suffering from cancer, if you're suffering from any inflammatory process, arthritis, like kind of problems that reduces the inflammation in the body, it induces good sleep, it reduces your depression, anxiety, stress level, and also it reduces your blood pressure. So you're saying all of this, it sounds like this magic potion. So yes, how actually, is it actually doing this? It reduces your uh, muscle tension mm. as well as it all it occurs is so when we chant the mantras, there is some neurochemical signals which reaches the brain and that neurochemicals released throughout the body. For example, if I chant the mantras, oh, so then there is some chemicals which will be released from my body, throughout the body, which might be like an neurochemicals like uh, endorphins hormones like oxytocin or certain endopeptides which can be released throughout that body which releases my muscle tension which creates some emotions which enhance which which stimulates and which modifies my body mind and soul which all together um, changes my system so i have the experience um in 2009 i had yeah. cervical cancer and i had a four centimeter tumor and from the moment i i I had my diagnosis up until my treatment or, and beyond, but, but between the diagnosis and the treatment, I had three biopsies and, they, and I chanted Om Namo Narayani from morning to night and even at night time, I would listen to it on, to my, on my iPod. And um, so I was, I was completely bathed in the mantra of Om Namo Narayani. And the tumor reduced in the first two biopsies, the tumor was the See? same size, it was four centimeters. Yeah. No, no, it was four centimeters. And then the third biopsy, it reduced by half. So how did that happen? It, it, uh, it, when, when we chant the mantras, it reduces some anti-inflammatory uh, enzymes or anti-inflammatory, uh, like, you know, some enzymes it secretes throughout the body. It reduces automatically shrinks your tumor cells because when we chant the mantras, it reduces the inflammation because it stimulates your hypothalamus, it stimulates your pituitary gland. So from the pituitary gland, all the hormones are getting stimulated. That the hypothalamus pituitary ovarian axis. What is the hypo? The hypothalamus is in the brain, really? which mean? balances our all the uh, everything in the body, which balances our positive feedback mechanism, negative feedback mechanisms. So that gives order to the pituitary. From the pituitary gland, all the hormones are being stimulated so which gives signals to the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland so if our hormone system is doing its own work we will be in, like you know good health good mind and everything will be all so mantras did things things internally and also keeping our mind in a very good state so as you're saying that this is all this amazing thing is there a mantra that is like better than another mantra or does it matter which mantra i chance 
it, 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 it's up to you. It doesn't matter. We can just chant Om or Om Namo Narayani. Sometimes mantra can be initiated by some gurus. So for example, Shakti Yama has initiated some mantra to me. Some mantra to, because she knows what is mantra best for your soul. So she gives some mantras. Mm -hmm. So that if you get initiated by your guru, you can, amma or some gurus, you can do that mantra. Or if not, you can just chant Aum. Or just thank you is also a mantra. Okay. Just saying thank you God, thank you universe, thank you nature, thank you Natalie. It's also a mantra. So that's also the attitude of attitude gratitude. Of gratitude. Yes. So nice. Have you seen there is in some experiment person he puts one label, I hate you. He puts some label on, I love you. He puts some label on the thank you. The word thank you has it shows marvelous, tremendous improvement in the water. Beautiful signs. So that really, that is true. So, and in the Muslim, they always say, Malikum uh, Salam, Salam Malikum. This thank you, God. Thank you, God. So they always say thank you. Actually, in Christianity, they say Alleluia, Amen. That's, that's also a mantra. If you say Om Namo Narayani or thank you every day, that's also a mantra. Speaking good words. Right. And I, I heard also that even if you don't have the initiation of the spiritual teacher or the guru, you can use mantras like Om Namo Narayani or Om, Om Namo Om Namo Om Shivaya. Om Namo Narayani. Mm -hmm. these, these mantras that have been so repeated that they actually have their own energy that they don't actually need an initiation so that's that's also useful for people yeah, because uh, there are some oh, mantras which should be initiated by the guru so yeah. for example if amma does some specific mantras to somebody to train but these mantras om namo nare has been chanted for years and years thousands and thousands and thousands of years but many people it does not need any initiation about chanting Om Namo Narayana. What about the Gayatri Mantra? Gayatri Mantra also. Thousands and thousands of years, people would have been chanted that mantra. That can be done. Mm -hmm. But for specific mantras, if you want to do specific, that Guru should be initiated. But Gayatri Mantra, anybody can chant. That is very good. Om Bhur Bhuvashvaha Tatsavitur Varenyam Vargo Devasya Devahi Diyo Yona Prachodaya and what about the Danvantri Mantra? Yeah, Danvantri Mantra is for healing. Okay. It's for health and for healing. If somebody is suffering or somebody is uh, suffering from illness or disease, we can chant some mantras for them to get rid of that. We can pray for them or they can do that mantra for themselves. Okay. okay. Um, is there, um, can you also tell me all the different things that um, the, you've got a long list of all the different things that actually the physical, aspects to how yeah, as I said, you can improve as it. I said uh, the physical aspect of the body it, it induces a positive hormones changes it produce it, it produces a hormonal balance in the body and also it reduces your inflammation it reduces your stress level and it does it does maintain your blood pressure there are many experiments which prove that before chanting mantras and after chanting mantras blood pressure will be get normal so blood sugar level and also your immune systems, which does wonders. During this COVID time, in this pandemic time, it's really good to everybody to get chanted because you will have a protective shield or positive shield and you will have a good vibration and frequency around you so that you will not get affected by any kind of viruses. Mm -hmm. So when you have a protective shield mechanism around you with good vibration, you will not get affected by certain diseases. Mm -hmm. So it reduces, as I said, uh, it, it, it keeps the minds to get focused and there, if you started meditating, uh, meditating and chanting day by day, day by day, multiple thoughts will become a single thought. So you'll be focused and what you wanted to do. So you will make your life very simple. So instead of thinking thousands of things at one time, oh, this thing, that thing, that thing, if you keep meditating and if you keep chanting, you keep become coming into a single thought. And the, what happens when you do have a very, very busy mind and you can't actually focus? Is initially, there, is there it will be, yeah, initially, it will be everybody will have uh, things will be going on uh, crazy when we start the chanting. It is really obvious, but practice makes a man perfect. If you keep perseverance and practice, you should, just, you should be patient until you get that mindset. Just five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. You should increase the time 
slowly, gradually, and then you will have a certain time when you focused and that time you need to be patient. Okay. Everyone can get that. And is it is there a difference if by chanting out um, out loud and yeah, chanting yes, inside? Yes, question. Actually, chanting out loud and chanting inside doesn't matter. But when we practice the mantra initially, it is good to chant out loud so that you will be very uh, good in pronunciation. So when you want, when you when you have very good focus, when you are really very much focused, you can uh, I mean chant the mantras internally. Or else, if you are not focused, like if you. Sometimes we will get disturbance or some things. It's good to start loud when you're starting, when, when you are in the earlier stage of this chanting. Mm -hmm. okay. And it also helps your focus too, right? Yes, mm. it also helps. Mm. And uh, many people have asked this question about the pronunciation. Pronunciation of the mantra is really very important. We should not mispronounce the mantra. That really creates some why, why is that? Because as I said, it is a universal sound. It is a divine sound. For example, if I say thank you, if I twist the word, I didn't thank you, what happened? It completely changes the meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. And the vibration. Yeah, that's the vibration. Mm -hmm. If I say thank you, that had some vibration. Even though if I'm in the mood, when I say thanking, like some, if I put some word and alter the meaning of the word, it doesn't make any sense. So, mm -hmm. The pronunciation of the mantras is really very important. And what about um, the importance of group chanting? Group chanting, it's group prayers, amazing. Group chanting, we will be focused on one thing. Mm -hmm. So group creates more positive vibration, create oneness of content. It produces a single thought. So for example, when we all sit and chant together for Varuna Mantra, what will happen? Varuna Bhagavan comes and the brain will come. Mm -hmm. So we will manifest. So group area is always very powerful. We had a, a quite an extraordinary experience recently with a baby who had a heart operation at oh. a few days old, and there were many people around the world yeah, yeah, chanting yeah. and praying. Actually, group prayers produces miracles, mm. and the, because we are all stri like oh no, all all minds are focused for single thought. Right. So single thought. Everybody will have single thought. Me, me, everybody. Hundred people come and stand for single thought, hoping rain will come. Of course, mm. thought has vibration. It has some frequency. It will hit that frequency and that. And um, what happened with this with this child who had the birth, um, who had the heart operation? The doctor actually went back home that night and said to his wife that he had performed the greatest heart operation in his oh, career. Wow! So he had, he had really felt you know, the effects of the blessing. Um, 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 the next question. How much do I need to chant each day? It depends. Uh, when you have very good time, you can chant at least 30 minutes. But when you don't have time, at least 5 10 minutes, you can chant. Focus like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Depends how much time you are having. So it depends upon 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening, or 10 minutes in the, only in the morning, or 15 minutes only in the morning. It depends. But when you are at the starting level, you should gradually increase the time. But uh, don't put First time when you're chanting, don't put yourself so much exert. Half an hour sitting at a stretch, one hour sitting at a stretch, when you're early stages of practicing, it makes you exhausted. Okay, okay. And there's some, um, what is this, what's the different types of mantras? There's sloka, which is S-L-O-K-A. Sloka, what is a sloka and what is a beach mantra? B-E-E. -E beach mantra is, uh, uh, is the seed mantra. Mm -hmm. So when we plant the seed, the seed we need to pour the water and it will grow into a tree. So we should, if we put take off, if we put the bij mantra, seed mantra, we are putting the seed within ourselves. We just need to take care of the seed by pouring water. No need to take care of the uh, like leaves. We should not water the leaves. Everybody should water the root only. If we water the root, everything will be. That's why bij mantra is seed mantra, which is for the your soul mantra. Okay, so the seed mantra for Saraswati would be what? Everything has different like okay. wisdom, peace, okay. prosperity, everything has. So, so it would be like I am. Yeah. Is, a, is the seed. And then what is a sloka? S L O K A. Slogans has a different purpose. For example, Jay, Rama Rama, we get home, like Jay, uh, Jay Anchaneya. Like mm -hmm. we praise and we, we, we get raise some slogans about some bhajans or some 
worshipping god praising god that it's different purpose just like appreciating one another mm-hmm. like that okay. one uh, one person also asked sarva mangala mangalya what is the benefit of the mantras if you chant sarva mangala mangalya that is for your well being health and wellness of your being so it creates happiness or all, all prosperity bring you happiness and prosperity into your well being but that defers slogans is like raising ourselves chanting together just just enjoy jay anjaniya right okay and um and so for this person who's in, um connected to the sarva mangala yeah, mangala i'm sure how much time do you should they dedicate from the sarva mangala mangala because because we have been doing this mantra here for a long time period everybody is doing we can chant how much he, he is sustainable 30 minutes or 45 minutes if we can do because okay because this mantra is initiated by amma to everybody here mm-hmm. okay and um before we just have any more questions the idea of um so people are going to lockdown again in europe and um there's a lot of fear around this lockdown and about where are we going with this virus um what do you suggest in terms of the benefit of mantra what can we do actually as we as we uh, discussed earlier um mantra if you chant the mantras it protect you a positive shield around your body mind so it will increases your frequency whereas no virus can touch you so you will be in the frequency mode you will be in the vibration higher vibration than the virus so that you cannot be disturbed by that virus and it in- really increases your immune system so your immune system will be very good even if you if the virus is attacking you easily you can combat the infection very easily because it creates you it boost your memory it boost your immune systems it really increases your uh, antiviral or antibacterial property mechanisms it boost all your circulation and everything so it, it, you really need to chant mantras to keep yourself motivated okay fantastic so do you, we have any questions is the sound of fan is it acting <laughs> that was me i could um, cuz i was just wondering if they did it Do you have any other things that you'd like to mention about mantra travels? Yes. So talk. Anything? We covered all that we said that we would cover. Um the only thing that I did have um which I thought was interesting when you were talking about the because of green shakti the 530 mantras that there are for plants mm-hmm. you said that that many have been lost yeah many of the best and um and i was wondering if if you think it would actually be possible for that could actually as a project i have some five mantras big baby i can collect and give it to you yeah yeah it'd be interesting to actually see with people as we are doing the forest around here yes. to actually do that okay so as we don't could you repeat what you said at the beginning <laughs> yes um, thank you Yeah, we, so we were talking about uh, mantra what is om yeah yeah i'll take and tell but mantra man means manas manas means mind tra means tool so it is the tool for the mind mantra is a tool for the mind why om is really a, like you no know, om is a very famous and very auspicious mantra om when you chant you observe that it starts from your muladhara chakra your, your perineal muscles your abdomen your upper chest your throat and it comes out so it activating all your chakras and you are here also it will get activated so it activates all the chakras will get then only you can pronounce that mantra ah ah u ma this is a correct pronunciation of om not o m o m a so what is the breakdown is a means the the uh, waking state of the mind a so this is your consciousness so you are bringing that consciousness and you are going into the subconscious and you are going into the super consciousness so a is the waking state of the mind u is the dream state of the mind so we can think about an alpha beta theta gamma level of frequency so then yam is the deepest part of the mind that is super consciousness so you when you are putting that 
when you are starting the consciousness super con subconscious and semi conscious super consciousness and you are chanting that mantra very good meditating state so people are going to the delta level alpha level beta level for why for what for meditating so to get into that range so that you will be like you know traveling with that frequency everybody says mm -hmm. wake up 4 am so that you can be in that alpha range but if you chant this mantra you are automatically in the alignment so that is the beauty of breakdown of um a question also so if someone doesn't believe in the soul or they don't believe in divinity is chanting mantra still good for them yes yes they no really science has no religion science is no uh, separation it is a science okay it, it, it really when you, when we chant the mantra we can change the chemistry of the brain as i said there is a neurochemical signals and everything it changes it alters and everything so it is a science so when we chant this mantra it produces some neurochemical changes in your body and you can see it obviously so when you when you think about spirituality that is different you can chant them you can feel the spiritual experience if a person does not believe in any religion or divinity he can feel the changes in his body mm -hmm. and when we keep on chanting the mantras the body part will come up and the soul will come up we can feel the difference between the body and mind and soul and the body very easily if we keep chanting Great. Listen, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. Om Namo Narayani, James Sir. Thank and you for uh, joining us. Please remember that this is um, by donation, so it's www.greenshakti, G-R-E-E-N-S-A-K-T-H-I dot O-R-G. Um, we've also got on the Green Shakti website the talks, um, so all of Janine, Dr. Janani's talks. And if you're interested in having an cons online consultation with her, there is also the link um, so to have an online consultation with her at the centre. Um, yep, I think thank you so much, James. Definitely good one because she's an amazing because so she really looks at all the aspects of your of, of your life and diet and sleeping patterns and and I've got for example a friend of mine recently who has been suffering from migraines for years. Just with one consultation with you, um, she's actually understood the cause of these migraines, which is, was a lifestyle thing, and she's shifted a few things and no more migraines. And this is something someone has suffered a lot. So um, there's a lot of benefit from just um, one consultation. Okay. Well, thank you all very, very much. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you. And may you all chant one chant oh, every no. day. Om Namo Narayani. Thank you. Thank you, my loves. Take care. Bye-bye.